Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Kofi. You're tuned in with six views on cut. Yeah, boy. Are you rolling? Video good to go? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Uncut, uncut. <laughs> Got a boy Kofi in the building. We're going to get into this unreleased tune. Yes, sir. Ren it, Ren it, Ren it, DJ. Six views. Uncut, uncut. Oh, I think I'm sleeping on this guy. <laughs> I think I'm sleeping, but I'm glad he's here. Appreciate you guys for having me. Yo, we got the boy Kofi in the building. What's going on, my G? Nothing much. Everything so. bless up, bless up. Everything's good, you know. I know you seem like a very busy guy. <laughs> yeah, yo, you seen that call right now? Like, <laughs> in the studio after this stuff. Ah, I like that. I like that. Oh, really quick, you got any shout outs? Yo, to be honest, I have too many. So if I started doing them now, <laughs> I, I'd be going all that. Like, I'd be the whole the whole time, you know? <laughs> yeah, that don't kill me. Um, shout out to the homie in the side there. Yeah. Building up the thing. Shout out Malx. Golden um, child, you know? Yeah, man. You already know. Fact check in the building. Hey. Um, let's get into this, man. Yo, who is Kofi? You want me to answer that? Yeah, because we got, we got two Kofis in the building, but you know, <laughs> yeah, not that one right now, but... <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know how I describe myself. Probably, uh, I'm just an artist. You know, mm-hmm. I I do everything when it comes to music. Uh, I started off mixing and producing for for other like rappers in the city. Okay. And then uh, from there, I just started. I was like, nah, let me try this singing stuff. So then I started singing, and then I started rapping, and just like you know, just where I've been in my mm-hmm. life, and between living in here and LA for different reasons. Okay. Um. You know, I, I got like some good perspective and some stuff to rap about, you know. Which gal convinced you to start singing? <laughs> Which ex convinced you to say, yeah, maybe you can sing. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie. I was a shy youth, so I never even showed no girls my singing. What? Yeah, like, you know. So, so I don't know. I showed them more the rapping stuff, but they love the singing. So okay. I'm going to have to start doing that, you know. Mm-hmm. Being that you're from the East. Do you think that the East has fallen off musically? Nah, I, I think that, I don't know. I think Toronto music is weird right now, but like, mm-hmm. when I think of, about the East, I just think about the weekend, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, he's winning. Like, if you Facts. look at the weekend, he's, he's a Scarborough, you, you know? Facts. Um, on the local scene, I guess the West is winning, you know? Mm. But, um, I mean,. That I mean, can't I would, be what it's about, you know? Like, Boy Wonders from the East. Like, I wouldn't even say it's a winning thing. It's more attention. Yeah, there's more attention in the West right now. Yeah, I would say West has a, a, obviously more attention. But there's still some artists in it, isn't Well, I guess not. That's different downtown. I would just say local city in the French. You have um, uh, Chester Lee guys. Uh, yeah. He's coming back 2-2 two, two in them. So they, they, mm-hmm. they got a little something going on. Local city's downtown here with us. But he's downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's downtown life. Okay, yeah, that's true. I hear that. So yeah, you said um, you started uh, producing for people. Yeah, first. Who was the first artist that you produced for? The first, well, the first people like nobody would really know them because like they were just like local for my school. Mm. I guess the first guy who's like bigger was Bugs still. Oh, say word. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I swear, like that guy. Uncut alumni. Yeah, I I really don't know. Like, nah, he he put me on from from when I was like just producing. You know. Okay, what what track did you produce for him? Yo, I did a couple. Hold on, let me go back to discography. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you're feeling? Me, wow, that's crazy. Back. I didn't even know that you, you did the producing and stuff. Yeah, no, nah, he cause yo, he's from the East too. Mm-hmm. You know? Um nah, let me let me find this. What are you looking at? I could I could fact check it for you. There is this it's track. Yo, there's this one track I didn't even mean for I was trying to show him what to sing. Man straight put me on the track. Nana, <laughs> yeah, but that's not even. I produced that one too, though. And what's that? That's off his album, yeah. That's, that's the off 12 his, Days album, 12 Days, one. okay. But yo, I like those bars are not me, like, I, I never meant for that. <laughs> but, like, let me put that out there. I wanted him to sing those bars, I was trying to give him the look and be like, you know, but I don't think a man like Bugs would ever let anyone like write for him, you know. No, we ain't the same. No, 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 no. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but there was some other stuff off some of his other tapes too. Okay. So, 
yeah, that's how I really got my foot in the door. And then uh, uh, Jay Brown and the 365 guys. Mm -hmm. um, Alumni. Oh, not yeah. Jay Brown, but 365. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah no, nah, those guys are, like, I grew up with, um, you know, KG? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so, I don't know him personally, but. Yeah. yeah, so I grew up with KG. And um, when I started doing the music thing, because, like, me and KG literally, like, like from Sandbox, like, so uh, he was like, yo, you know my bro's Jay Brown, right? And I was like, what? Like, no, like, come, come through. So then they would come through, and, you know, every night we'd just be up all night just making tracks. I'd be mixing. And they're getting free studio time, and you know, I was getting better in my craft. And That's to this cool. day, like Jay Brown, me and Jay Brown are tight. He's actually on my next single. That's dope. What's your next single? What is it you say? Yeah. It's called Garden Girl. Mm. Yeah, that's the first time I've said that to anyone. It's called Garden Girl, uh, featuring Jay Brown. It's going to be out on the 5th. 5th of February. Yeah. Okay, so you're getting into that like Valentine's Day thing. Yeah, you already know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with it. So, yo, I, I would assume, being your name's Kofi, you're African, no? Yeah, I'm Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Shout out all the Ghanaians out there. Mm -hmm. Um, Is it harder for African rappers to get big? Because yo, to be honest, bare rappers in Toronto are Ghanaian. Like, like Jay Brown, Free A, like... JD Era. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally. Just bare. Um, nah, I, I think it just opens up like a completely next market, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I was just in Ghana. I literally just went... Uh, I got back like 16 days ago because I just got like got off quarantine. Mm. But um, yeah, no, it's sick. Got to work with a couple artists out there. It's just all love. So like you don't have it like I guess the culture. Do you feel like enough uh, African artists like embrace it? Because I, I I I see like the Somalians and the Africans and uh, I believe East Africans and I feel like they don't embrace their culture enough. I I don't know if that's hard in the rap industry because I'm not. I don't have their culture. Yeah, I I guess I don't know. They could probably embrace it more, especially like going on in the future. Because Afrobeats right now is taking over. You know, fire right now. So like like half my album, not half, like two of the songs are Afrobeats. Mm. You know, so like I don't know. I try to embrace it as much as I can. You know. Yeah. Even if you look at the same thing with like a lot of artists in Toronto, are Somalian. And mm -hmm. I don't feel like you know the background of Somalia or anything. It's just you hear like the hood shit. You know what I'm saying? So appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Respect. So, I mean, yeah, I, I would like to see that. I don't know. Maybe that's something with me. I like. I like to see more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I feel like that would be cool. There's this artist named uh, Millions <clears throat> from the UK. He has yeah. this video called Laga. You should check that out. <laughs> I think I think I know who Millions is. Yeah. I, ra I rap with the UK heavy still. I think he's Kenyan. Either way, he shot that video in Kenya. It's sick. Okay. When the video is actually off my album, I shot it in, in Ghana. Yeah? Yeah. Is it out here? Nah. I don't know what's coming out? Yeah, it's just coming out. I have like four unreleased videos. Proper. Have them in the talk. Have them in the talk. So, yo, you're like 6'10". <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sports were you playing back in the day? Were you always this tall? Actually, yo, if I was this tall from when I was young, I'd be playing ball. But mm. I was, uh, I played volleyball. Shout out all the volleyball players in there. Yeah, I literally quit like last, like just at the beginning of quarantine, I quit. Why? So, just to do music, you know? Mm, be, focus like, on completely. music full time. Yeah, full time in music, you know? <clears throat> what was it like in the volleyball life? Because you always I mean, hear the basketballers, the football. What's the volleyball drama that goes on behind the scenes that we don't know about? The problem it's like every other sport. The problem is like for men, you can't really make money like that, you know? Oh, so, so the Ghana are making money. Yeah, they are. So anytime I see those posts, I see bare posts on IG that are like, yo, female and male athletes should be making the same. And you know? Mm. Just coming from a sport where the female athletes make more, it's just like an interesting perspective, you know? Mm. But yeah. So Uncle question I got for you. Who's got the better pokes? Basketball girls wow. or volleyball wow. girls? Not even gonna lie, I've never even messed with a basketball girl in my life. No? Yeah. Football girl, another sport, and then another sport, hockey girl, just volleyball girl. No, but you can't tell me. One. Hockey girls cook one. Yeah, I lie. Thing. Soccer girls cook soccer one. Soccer girls. Them legs on them soccer girls. So, which one? Because I know you, you can't say that you haven't been with one volleyball girl. And come on. Uh, Sorry to put you out there. Like yo, that. it have to be volleyball or soccer still. Yeah. Yo, the volleyball girl, them. Woo! Yo, there's just bare volleyball girls, you know? Yeah, there is. Like, there, so many girls play volleyball. 
Do you play volleyball like in LA and stuff on the beach and all that stuff too? I didn't play on the beach, but I I played like I went to UCLA, so I played there for four four years. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that was I remember and sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, no problem. When I first spoke to you, I feel like on Instagram a <laughs> couple of years ago, all right? And I don't know if you responded right away because you're like you're way too hot, you're too, too hot to respond to us. <laughs> but I'm like, this nigga's in UCLA, and I thought you were balling over there, like playing basketball. But I'm like now that you're saying that it's volleyball and stuff like that, like the fuck, <laughs> UCLA is a big fucking college, bro. Uh, yeah, one of the fucking biggest. Yeah. So you got a scholarship to go over there? Yeah, yo. To be honest, that's the only way I can afford it. You know, <laughs> like, it's like sixty bands a year. None of that. Yo. I'll tell you right now, my dad would look at me and laugh. <laughs> you know, holy nah but so what um, was that experience like it's live like it gave you it gave me a completely different perspective you know mm -hmm. like especially coming from here coming from scarborough i was always like in a like in a position where my friends looked at me like i had it you know mm. but going over there it's ridiculous like <laughs> i don't even know there's so much like there's so many things that come to my mind i could barely even put into words but yeah, no, going to L.A. for four years definitely gave me, like, it opened my mind, you know, outside mm -hmm. of Toronto, like, got me out of Scarborough. Like, Do me a favor. Like, can you take your phone off the table? Let's make it a buzz. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the yeah, buzz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Continue. Oh, wait, that might be the food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the way still. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so, yeah, continue. Yeah, just, um, I don't know. Being in L.A., uh, I was there for sports and for school, but it gave me four years like paid for it to live in LA and focus on music, you know? Mm. So now I have connections in LA. And even when I signed my record deal, I was in LA. Okay. And uh yeah, just like linking up with everyone because the whole industry's out there. So yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Other than music, what's the I guess the biggest pro and the biggest con of going out there? To be honest, I don't even like I don't like it like that. Like <laughs> <laughs> like I, yeah. I I was amped to come back. Like wow it's just different like it's fast paced but like everyone's doing something like like you can't just like link up with with the mandem you know mm. so like I, I was super happy when it was time to come back but i i don't know out there like it's cool like you have everything that like you need you know you could find anything except for jamaican food in la oh <laughs> boo so you weren't getting no roti Yo, none of no that. curry gold no ox still like, i'm sure there's places but i went to two and both of those i was like laughing at my plate i was like yo are you what guys kidding me like i'm not even jamaican but i know better than this you know <laughs> like, that was that was stupid disrespect Ooh. yeah disrespect on a plate we're so mexican food <laughs> um let me throw one in there also no, about that sure, place sure. what was the dorm situation like out there so the yeah, dorms good. were like so i was on a scholarship so like we basically got what we were given and it, it was like it was amazing i'm not even gonna lie mm -hmm. but and you're an athlete I, I'm gonna get <laughs> let me into just that. throw that in we're there. gonna get into that we're gonna get into that <laughs> yeah so nah we were given everything we needed but um the year after that so i'll break it down for you guys so like for volleyball volleyball there's not even that many scholarships because men and women in the ncaa have to have the exact same amount of scholarships right and there's like 80 scholarships given out for football so which there's no equivalent to on the female side you know yeah. so sports like volleyball they only have four scholarships for the team four and a half that they have to split up amongst the full team you know so it's mm -hmm. rare that you have a full so i had a full for three years but for the year the second year that i didn't have a full yo when i tell you i was living so ghetto like <laughs> yo thousand roaches could not use the kitchen, could not use the bathroom, but it was all right because we had a locker room. But, you know, <laughs> so like the first year I was in dorms, everything was blessed. Second year, I moved off campus. Yo, like that was the worst living. Like it got like closed after the year after we after we left because it was just terrible. Wow. So you didn't have like a shorty or something that you can like pop to and what be like, yo, like. Yo, this break? This shit broke down. Broke? In my head yeah. So, 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 so those on the table. Um, there's the next one there for you. We equipped over here at the, at the yeah, Do We Love Hip Hop Network. That, it's see? the dreads. Bam, bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so the shorties. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the shorty. She, you know, this one help demand them with the schoolwork. So <laughs> help, so, not do, but help. You know. So you do they give you like 
the same attention that you're a volleyball player. They must give you the same attention. What the fuck? You're light skin and you got hair, nigga? And you tall? And you play sports? Come on, fam. They were on you like friggin... White on rice. R- right? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean like... Mm, we don't get attention like the ball players, but to be honest, I don't even want that attention. No? Nah, like, yo, these girls... Because I was cool with the ball players, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, and the year I was there, it was like Lonzo and TJ Leaf. Um, so, Lonzo Ball? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, I would go out with like... Was Lonzo there last, that night? I don't, I don't even remember if he was there, but I was there with TJ, who um, I think he went to the Pacers. Pacers. Yeah, so... Yo, girls are just following him around, acting crazy, acting dumb. And this girl's a neuroscience major. Like, like it was it was <laughs> ridiculous. Like, it was actually crazy. I don't even want that attention for myself, you know? I felt bad that he has to deal with it, you know? Because that's a, uh, like, he's a good guy, you know? That's nuts, bro. I can only imagine how that lifestyle is. Breaking condoms, all types of crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, recklessness. Like, it's crazy. All right. Well, let's get back to the music then. When did you decide to really take the music serious? Probably. That's a great question still. Um, I was pretty serious as like a producer and engineer. But as an artist, really like. Probably my second year, one of my homies from here, uh, he, he like started like not investing in me, but like he would help me out with shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So like if I needed, uh, like a mic, he helped me get it, you know? Mm. So then after that, I kind of owed it to him to, you know, really take it serious, take it super serious. And then I dropped songs and they, anytime I dropped music, like people would like it, um, and that's because, like, I have, like, a background in, like, music theory, you know? Not just, yeah. like, like I don't, don't just turn on the auto-tune and go, you know? <laughs> so, just because of that, I feel like it helped me get, like, you know, like, people just kind of gravitated towards it. And then I started dropping bigger songs and bigger songs, like, came up. And then mm. once that happened, I was like, I, I could do this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into that, but do numbers matter to you? Like numbers on <clears throat> songs, yeah, streams, yeah. views, followers. Um, I mean, streams matter to me. Uh, it's just the game we're in, you know. I'm mm-hmm. trying to trying to run up the numbers, be the best. Nah, I hear that. Mm-hmm. So you said, uh, uh, what come up, right? Came up, yeah. Came up. That's the one that did. That's like four mil right now, right? Yeah, it's at four mil right now, and it's going up. Like, like yeah. the graph is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> How was that, bro? Like, you got a song out there that's touched a mill. Like, I, I was telling Friday, well, earlier on this year, like, yo, I want a video to go 10K, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a video that's at 4 mil going at 5 mil. How was the feeling of that? Like, yo, it was sick. I still remember when it touched its first mill. Where were you when it touched the mill? Are you seeing that? And how was, like, I was in the feel? backyard and we had finally moved into the new crib. So I time. was out of that terrible crib, like where like I'd wake up with roaches in my bed, like like nasty, like couldn't use the sink, like none of that. And then we finally move. It was like eight of us. We got like a mansion in Bel Air. So we're in there in like a beautiful Bel Air mansion. And I was just in the backyard and we had a backyard I was in. So I was in the backyard and I remember just watching it on the computer. We caught it like right at a mill. Mm. Are you aware that you're on Spotify? You have two million seven seven and seven hundred twenty eight thousand five hundred and ninety five spins on your song, the Which same one? song. Oh, on came up, came up. Yeah, yeah. It, I don't that's know. Spotify six. likes me. I don't know what it's going like. That's fucking crazy. That's bro. like six, seven mil streams, and that's off of two platforms. Yeah, I think it's like, I think that's close to Canadian gold. Yeah, yeah. that's. Canadian gold, bro. Nigga, can we get this nigga a round of applause? Yeah, man, I have to get a black or something. Yeah, yeah, can we get this? Hold we'll on. have to look into oh, that bro. still. Can we get a cheers? Yo, yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> That's worth right there, man. Did you do this signed or? No, no, no. no. This that is all was, independent? Yo, that was the most independent song, like my two biggest songs to date are like the most independent like came up i was just i just came back from school one day or from practice and i was just like i heard this beat on youtube i was like yo that's a beat and then i wrote like 
the hook, like I sang it, like came up from the gutter, had nothing. And then I, from cool the time enough. I was like, wait, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, cool <laughs> now. Is this, you know, you get your sing on. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> from, from the time I was like, from the time I wrote the second bar, I was like, yeah, yeah, that, that song's out of here. Mm. I, I knew that, that that song was the one. And then the second one was called Wake Up. And that one, oh, so. oh yeah. So I knew that one was a smash. And then Wake Up, that's actually the first one that came out before it came up. And that was like Spotify just loved it. They just put it like second on some big playlists. So mm. from that. <clears throat> and what, that what'd you say 2.9 2. <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that one yeah i know that that one just boomed that one it was a freestyle like i was just in my feelings you know like, sure broke up with me <laughs> i had to do schoolwork all on my own i was cheese i'm not gonna lie she, she must be cheese now though yeah it's not nah, she was cheese for sure. <laughs> she hit you in the dm don't lie nah still no but she's she's creeping she in the stories yeah, I think she unfollowed me. I don't think she missed me at all. Like, <laughs> well, she's seen the video somewhere. I'll yeah, tell you nah, that. For sure, so, she's seen it. I don't want to give out too much game, but like I stress to a lot of these guys a whole thing about like consistency, promoting, and marketing. What did you do without giving out too much of the sauce? Or what you did to like get that to where it was? Yo, my thing is just dropping music, you know? Mm. So I was in a, a record deal um, where... I could only really put out six songs in a year and that just kind of wasn't doing it for me. Mm. So we had to like restructure it. And um, now I'm back to like releasing music. Like I released a song every week for like the last, like at, how many weeks? Like six weeks. At least, at least. Yeah. For like the last six weeks in December okay. and each one, you know, just like, like it would grow a little bit, you know? Mm. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of still figuring out the whole marketing thing, but right now we're doing everything independent. So just trying to, you know, be as smart as we can and learn as much as fast as we can. So I like how you kind of like spin it. You're not going to give any, you're not going to give out any sauce. Eh? I, I would just say, I would just say drop music, you know, like yeah. you can't be a rapper and not drop music and expect for men to, you know, care. <laughs> like, but, but that's what they do though. I think they drop the music and they just want man to care. Like they don't promote it. Nah, yeah. So like for an example, it. like I, I don't know, but like I, I'm seeing you on different pages and stuff like that. I don't know if you're paying for it or whatnot, but at the same time, it's like invest into yourself. Why not? For sure. Right? For sure. So like, Yo, if people, will, if you're going to go spend like 30 bands on a chain and you're not going to put 30 bands into marketing for an album, you're a crazy stuff. Preach, and, uh, brother. Yo, Preach. and there's no shame in marketing. Like people think like, yo, you paid for that billboard? You're a waste. You No, 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 no. Trust me. You need to. Like, this is what you have to do. But but they don't understand that. So yeah. but, but now when you see, hey, guys, look. He ain't talking about ops and all that shit. <laughs> and the nigga got a million fucking streams <laughs> and a million views on freaking youtube so don't tell me you gotta do all that shit we have somebody right here that didn't have to oh that's cap you paid for that <laughs> <laughs> you paid, yeah you paid for you paid for four million fucking views yeah that's yeah i, don't know I will how much never that would be. i will never pay for views ever no, but I what i would pay for is marketing to get people to organically go say oh who is this guy let me go stream his stuff, you know? Mm. Like, there's a right way to do everything. There's a wrong way to do everything, you know? Bro. I know this guy already. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like sense. And I feel like it's lost. In yeah. Toronto, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to... I, I, I preach long enough. <laughs> How did you link up with Doovie? Uh, That was through my cousin still. That was... Like, he just knows him from what they do. And, you know, he just, he just kind of lined the whole thing. So, uh... It was actually crazy. It was the day before I was going to Ghana. Uh, I think it was like noon. And he hits me. He's like, yo, bro, like, yeah, we could do the track, whatever. So, you know, we worked out a deal. Um, and then linked to that studio to make a track. And we shot the video same time. And Proper. then I cut to Africa. <laughs> and then, yeah, came back and dropped the track. So you guys did a song in the studio together? Yeah. Proper. Well, no, nah, I already had my part done. Mm. Um, I... I'm I'm a sickle when it comes to like tracks like because I have a studio in my house like I have a crazy studio in my house mm. we're actually about to move it but um so like I have like 40 maybe 50 on release so from the time I got an idea to even do a track with Doovie I already had like four section off with an open verse you know mm. so like I could just show them to him and just be like yeah you could you could decide you know which one is sick, sick man, man. <laughs> yo you're a sick man so what was that? What was that process like? Just like 
having that dude. and how how did you hear about Doovy? like uh, like were you always tapped into his music and shit or no i'm pretty like tapped in like i listen to a lot of people that you wouldn't people yeah. wouldn't expect yeah <laughs> people wouldn't expect mm. like i listen to every genre and even like like in toronto like this is you know it's my city like i have to be tapped in Fresh. here to the streets so mm. like there's a bunch of people like there's a bunch of people that like i know and they're making music but there's some artists like that i think that their sound could go to the next level you know doobie's one of those one mm. of those people this guy can be out of toronto you know he can make it track. he I, I think he was i'm seeing people like call him toronto's little baby which is crazy because that's what i was calling him yeah like, i hear that a lot I, mm-hmm. I i just think he's doobie but like yeah i hear that a lot that people are saying he's toronto's little baby yeah the way i mean that is not like he sounds like him because he doesn't it's more like I don't know. I see he like like he's talented. Like the yeah, guy, the guy's good at what he does. Talented. Yeah, super freaking talented. And man. he's like he's super unique. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There's some people like he's one. Plaga's another one. I don't know these guys at all. You know. Mm. I just like the sound. The you know? sound. Yeah. And Plaga's with the one with the um. See me never saw me. He's yeah. on that track, Plaga. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that song. Yeah, I just. I don't know. What about? Fem- I don't do no politics. I don't know. If- don't worry, we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that. But what about females though? Uh, yo, female artists from the city. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm only half a rapper, you know. Like <laughs> half of me does R&B. There's this singer, she's low key. Her name's Maya, Maya's Diary. She's like, kind of like R&B. Okay. Yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> me and send me send me the link. I wanna I wanna tap into some R&B this year, man. Yeah, I'll do it for sure. She's crazy. So nobody hip hop wise, you, you you never really paid it to other than Chromas, obviously. <laughs> um, yo, I think I just recently heard one of her songs. Who Chromas? Yeah. What do you think? I mean, be honest. Honestly, it's <laughs> it's just not my cup of tea. You know, like no disrespect. <laughs> like I rate everyone's hustle. It's just. I don't know. I there's there's certain things I like in music and there's th- certain things that I yeah. don't like in music and like I don't know. You don't she like, like that. No, not that I don't like it. It's just like it doesn't appeal to the parts of music that I like, you know? Yeah. Like I like melodies. She's not really a singer, you know? Yeah. So He doesn't fuck with you, Chromas. No, I'm nah. joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> That's something Hell she that. did to me. It's something she did to me. <laughs> Shout out Chromas, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Chromas. That's, that's, yeah, that's how people yeah. Um, what was really quick? What was the video like doing the video with Doovy? Yeah, it was just quick. Like we shot the video same time we did the song. Like yeah. same time he did his verse. Okay. Yeah, it was just quick. You know, it was, it was fun. Yeah, and that video's out right now, man. Go can check I, that out. Run that out. Can I throw something in there quick? Yeah, for sure. You got the blue check. <laughs> mm. Two part question. One, how did that happen? Like you just wake up and you had the blue check. And two, what was the results? DM wise after the blue check popped up. Um <laughs> DM wise. You know, you know what I was about to you know say. What, you know what I'm talking about. Story. <laughs> um you could tell that story so, too. I'm down for that. You want me to? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So um I signed a deal with Red Bull mm-hmm. and in the first meeting I I was like they were just asking me like anything that I want, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I was like, could you guys get me verified? I'm not even joking. Next morning, I wake up verified. I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, so it's literally that simple. Like, oh, I don't oh, know. Sorry to cut you. You have a D- Red Bull, like, Red Bull Energy drink? drink? Yeah, they, they have, like, a record label that's, like, attached to them. Oh, I didn't even know that. Shit. Yeah, they have a whole label. They have, you know Blast? No. He's, like, a big artist out of L.A. right now. He's just, just now coming up. He's with them. Nah, never heard of him. Happened. Mm-hmm. So what was your, what was the second part of your question? The DMs. Oh, the, the DMs. DMs. Yeah, because you know the DMs start to change when you see that blue check mark. <laughs> they start to act different. Yo, they yeah. they don't even change that much. Like it's like kind of like a grass is greener on the other side type of thing, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't think it changed that much, but like, like are you talking about in business? Or in, like, well, you know what? You were already <laughs> lit. I'm talking about the shorties. Oh, the you shorties. were already <laughs> lit. <laughs> Yo, and you, you had a bag of gal because you're 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 the six foot light skinned nigga who playing you know <laughs> with UCLA dreads. with dreads, right? But you got a blue check mark now, and you do well, music. I'm not gonna lie, literally, how many days ago was that? Like three days ago, I'm in a girl's live, you know, just like she yo she's bad. I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm in her live, and like I commented something, nothing like weird or anything. Like, I think she was like, yo, like, what should I do with my hair? And I was like, get dreads, you know? It's just simple. And then 
I see under that, someone commented. They're like, oh, shit, the verified guys are here. We're done. And she goes on a rant. She's like, I would never talk to any verified guy, this, that, this, that. I was like, oh, Why? I'm done. Why? I'm not. Hold on. She's Who? like, yo, like, they get, like, I don't know, probably, like, yeah, they think themselves? that. Yeah, probably something like that. But I was like, wow. I had to go make a whole burner with. <laughs> and fly right back in. <laughs> Finsta life. <laughs> yeah, Shout out Adam Man with the Finstas. Yeah. That's wow, it. that's that's what it's like. Like the gal them go off. Like I don't know. She could just you? be weird, you know. There are a lot but of them are. There. A lot of them are. I don't know. I, I to be honest, like I don't know. I have two accounts. Like, I have two IGs. One for sports and then one for music. And the mm. sports one actually has more followers, but it's not verified. But I don't know why. One day. I never asked them to verify that one. And to be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing with it. I'm probably just gonna. People wanted me to sell it, but I was like, uh, there's a lot of DMs in there. I don't know about that, you know? So delete it and forward. How much? Hmm? <laughs> delete it and forward. How Yo, much? there's so many DMs though. Like, <laughs> So just delete, fam. Right? Oh, I'll know keep about some. That. <laughs> I, I'm gonna just use that as my burner for now. <laughs> it has a 40K burner. <laughs> oh, dude. What? Like, that's. Yo, can I use you for a... No, nah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll about that. Um, I seen you post something on Keep Six Solid. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were actually like right before you just came in. Uh, but bring the city together. The other thing after, but uh, talk about that. Why did you feel like you needed to get that out there? I think it's just, it's like, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't like throwing shade to anybody, but I, I just feel like the fans of the music in Toronto are not fans of the music, you know? <sighs> And like as artists, like we generally tend to think they are, but nah, they just really care about the politics. Talk to and them. then that that's why tracks that are super about the politics blow. But at the like at the same time, you're airing out so much stuff that does not need to be airing out, mm-hmm. like aired out, you know. So I don't know. Just as someone who's seen both sides, like I've been in the Toronto hip hop scene, I've been in LA, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. I just think it's kind of. It's just different out here. People don't really care about... People don't love the music and love the musicians. They love the drama and the, you know, the yeah. politics. So is, it's clearly you're saying it's different out there. So people actually love the music out there in LA and shit. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, definitely. It, um, it, it might just be a Toronto thing. Like, people just love to hate. Like, people hate on you like they know you and they don't know you, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yo, you ain't lying, bro. We were just talking about it again, like... Whenever we drop videos that have to do with anything politicky, goes to the roof. Mm-hmm. But as soon as we're Literally. talking something positive, these niggas ain't watching. These and niggas that's, don't want to talk about. They don't want to comment. They don't want to like it. That's literally what I said in my video. Like, uh, I, I was like, it's not even like the blog's fault or like the media outlets. Like, people blame everyone, but realistically, it's just a business, you know. And as a business, you're going to do what you need to do in order to make money. But it's just a re- it, like if you guys think there's a problem, then check yourself because it's it's a reflection of, you know, the customers, your, your guys' mm. customers, you know. Speak to the people, them fam. I'm not saying it this time. Friday's not <laughs> saying it. But yeah, we have um, we have this problem. So I'm glad that you came out and said that because same thing as bloggers. It's a touchy thing because we we, we promote everybody. Like I have mm-hmm. you, like you you have nothing to do with ops or anything yeah, like that. that. And I'm I got you on here, right? Yeah. So And it probably won't do numbers for that like, you know, for but, that same reason. But it should. I I'm gonna push it the fuck out of it to make sure it does. But at the same time, it shouldn't be that. It should just be like, yo, they got a dope artist out there, mm-hmm. let's support it. Yeah. But it doesn't work like that. This nigga, does he, does he, is he talking about smoking on anybody's dead homies or anything? Never. Nah, he's not. Nah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, he's shit. Yeah. <laughs> who? <It's>, People <laughs> love the who's in the comments. <laughs> <They're> like, who? So and so dropped the new track. What do you guys think? Who? who? Yo, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Comment gang, you got to love the comments a lot. They're yeah. hilarious. Yo, oh my God. Bear, yo, like. I don't even know. These comment section warriors are ridiculous. Like, <laughs> but yeah, that's some, like, I have to realize that they're not doing it to spite me. They're doing it to look they're cool. Cool, yeah. Yeah. So like, they're just like, I don't know. There's like a saying in business, like you have to understand like everyone's business, like what, why they do what they do, you know? Mm. So if you just understand that they're not doing that really to spite you, they're really just doing it to make themselves look good. 
to other people or try to get like as many likes as they can on that comment. That's what it is. That's really what it is. So Dude. it's not even personal. Them niggas is like, Mom, five people liked it. <laughs> five people. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm here, cheese, trying to mix my album. Like, yo, like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> um, last couple of questions I got for you. We let me get into act question. You seen obviously what's going on with the academic shit. Mm-hmm. Would you enter that chat? Ne- never. No. I'm not allowed to enter that Ooh. chat. I would never. <laughs> like I, I have to hold myself to a standard where. Why not? It's about politics. That guy, like, I haven't. I, I don't want to say anything negative about academics, but like, remember when he did this in Chicago? He, he like, he's a. You know, like he, you, you understand his business. Like his business is to get views and you know bring attention and grow his brand. And he's doing that with the politics because he sees how strong it is out here. But I don't want to be associated with that. You know. My bad. That just felt like deja vu, like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the Chicago stuff? You no, know, just everything you just said. Oh. How you said it? Everything just felt deja vu, like. A, anyways, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> That's why I rate some guys for just you know trying to stick to music. But then I don't know everyone like it, like. It's definitely harder than than just saying it to not talk about politics. You so, know? But, so you wouldn't even try and get in there to change the narrative. You wouldn't even be like like get in there and be like, "Yo, act! I got an album out. I got an album out." But why don't you check out, "Yo, this person, this person? They're not about the politics. They're not about that." Like, just <laughs> just you know, shake shit up, man. <laughs> I don't even know. He's like, nah, probably not. Act. Nah, he isn't. He, he's close with six nine. Yeah, that's like his bro. Mayu doesn't even get that full name, but yeah, I guess that's his homie. Yeah, no, I'm not on that. <laughs> okay, Say like, you know, but like, I don't know. Also, yeah, nah, probably just, I, I, I don't think I would. He's posted my stuff in the past, but that was through oh, the yeah? record label, you know, mm. like they seeded it to him and everything. That's dope. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, no disrespect to him or anything, you know, like, yeah, yeah, it's just. Not your cup of tea. I'm not trying to be in the same conversation as the people who, like, you know, like, the artists who are just that ingrained in, like, the politics and everything. Mm, not hear that? Not, not I'm not that. saying I don't mess with their music. Like, some of them, I, I really mess with their music. But, mm. you know? Yeah. Now I hear that. Uh, gun violence. Mm-hmm. Been crazy in, in our city for the last couple of years. We ask this question to everybody. Yeah. What do you think something that we can do to bring down the gun violence in this city? And obviously, we know we're not going to stop it, but maybe <coughs> something that we can do just to bring it down, help one kid out there. Yo, I, I, I literally can't even answer that. I have no clue. It's such like a multifaceted problem, you know? Mm. Yeah, yo, like I can't even answer that. I have no clue at all. You have any idea? <laughs> <laughs> Not, truthfully it's just it's just the politics you know like people endorsing the politics that's that's part of the reason why there's gun violence people beefing o- over really nothing you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying somebody saying something online and being like oh yeah oh you're a tough guy okay seeing and then doing something about it and war just happened for what you know what i'm saying so realistically it's as you said it's about the customers and the people that are listening to the shit mm-hmm. not really endorsing that and having a standard for what they're going to listen to and not listen to type of thing. You know what I mean? That's real. That's real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's literally like, it, it's just like a big problem. Like, Yeah, it is. Well, hopefully we can get find something to it, but... um, What do you think? I think we got to go younger. I think it's like we can't even worry about the older heads. I, I always preach that, like, instead of worrying about, like, six, not even older heads, but, like, the 16, 17-year-olds, they're already in it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not even, like, like 14-year-olds, like, you're hearing that have guns and all kinds of stuff. So I think it's better that you try and get to these kids when they're young, mm-hmm. 8, 9, 10, and try and encourage them into something. Like, let them know. Like, you don't have to be a rapper, a basketball player. You know, you can be an A&R. You can be a painter you can be yeah. you know a lawyer like there's black people that are doing everything not just black indian somali and like you can be anything you want to be like th- there's opportunities out here for us you just have mm-hmm. to put your mind to it be consistent on whatever you're doing and do it yeah but i think you just have to go younger instead of preaching to people that have already made up their mind kind of thing that's just me yeah yeah i don't even know i don't even know where to start with that one like toronto has an issue for sure yeah it's crazy bro it's it's nuts it wasn't like the way i was growing up I'll tell you that much mm-hmm. 
But uh, uh, what else you got going on? What else uh, can we be expecting from Kofi? Yeah, I got. I have an album, so this is probably like the first time I'm really announcing that I'm dropping my album. Jeez, exclusive. Should, should I give the release date? Nah, no, I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, let me find yeah, yeah. my phone. <laughs> I have to figure out exactly what the release date Maybe is. Maybe you shouldn't. No, because if you're not, if you don't land on that date, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I I know the day, but I don't know what date it is. Like, no, I no, know but if you don't Friday's land after, if you don't actually release it on that date, you're gonna look fugazi on the camera. <laughs> no, it'll be that date, but yeah, whenever yeah. it comes up. around yeah, that time, right, let's look. But for yeah, it. Next, next single, month? next single is coming out on uh, February fifth. Okay, and then yeah, a couple weeks after that, I'll say. And who who do you got who? Any features, producers on there? Yeah. Um. Well, my producers, like, it's mostly in my network, you know? And mm. I, I produced, like, co-produced or produced um, six of the records. Good. And then features, I mean, that track with Doovie, that's going to be on the album. Good. I have a track with Jay Brown. Uh, You know who Vori is? Vori? Yeah, Vori, V-O-R-Y. Sounds familiar. He's uh, Dream Chasers. Like, he's... Like with oh, okay, Meek and okay. he's that guy's super dope. He's on it. Okay. Um, and then a Ganyan artist, uh, Kwesi Arthur. Nice. That guy. That guy's sick. He's like one of one of the biggest rappers in Ghana right now. Mm. And uh, I'm definitely forgetting. Some. I'm not forgetting some. There's just, there's a lot of features. I'm not gonna lie. There's I think there's six features. But th- those are some of the standouts. There's also this guy Christian Royce, from. Uh, yeah, that's actually I don't know where he's from, but he's <laughs> staying in LA right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Kofi, man. Kofi's doing big things. 2021, guys. Look out mm. for that shit, B. Both I'm of us. Be, yeah, we'll definitely be. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that one, eh? Or Ed. Timmy D over there. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep it really quick. We got an uncut uh, segment that we do here. Uncut, mm-hmm. uncut. i ask you some. Oh, bad. What, what did Messi say? Ranchy questions. <laughs> 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 the ladies want to know, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have a type? A type? Ah, nah, nah, I have, I have no type. Smart. Good question. Good good answer. <laughs> good answer. No type. <laughs> now, you don't want to get fucked up because you like, oh, yeah, I like this. Oh, so you don't like that? <laughs> yeah, nah, no type. If you could see the OnlyFans from oh any celebrity <laughs> in Toronto or a nude leak or Ooh. sex tape from a Whoa. celebrity in a Toronto. Toronto celebrity yeah I don't really know be? Toronto celebrities like that it could be anybody huh slim pick a slim pick I don't that know a beautiful it was female actress actress from Toronto uh, <laughs> yo I, honestly I don't even know about this whole OnlyFans thing like I, I've no? never subscribed to nobody in my life on OnlyFans. I can get you the link fam don't nah, worry nah, you don't even have fine. to subscribe I'm good. you know what I'm saying like, I got I got the thing don't worry Mm-mm. yeah I couldn't even pick one. I don't really know that many like Cherry Girl nah you know who Cherry Girl is though I know who Ow. she is <laughs> shout out Cherry Girl nah, no that's not the one nah what about uh, Winnie Harlow she from Toronto yeah, she winning all from Toronto. Um, I think so. Yo, yeah. for sure then. What? <laughs> what? See, there we go. That's there ridiculous. Go. She's I'm from pretty Toronto. Sure need, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Can we fact check that really quick though? Yeah, but I'm yeah. pretty sure she is like even like Mississauga areas, but yeah, Winnie Harlow. Yeah, GTA, is GTA, you know. <laughs> so yeah, throw that throw that in there. Mm, yeah, yeah. What about what about the states? <laughs> the states? Yo, you know, I know the craziest thing. When I was like playing volleyball. Yeah, she's Canadian. Yeah. When I was playing volleyball heavy, Mia Khalifa followed me random. Woo! Like, like, that was a weird one. I'm not even going to lie to you. Oh, and one more last thing. She's from Mississauga. Um, Winnie Harlow. Winnie Harlow. Mississauga. Yeah. 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 Mia Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> Booyaka. Yeah. She just randomly followed me on Twitter. Yeah? It was so weird. Because, like, Bleach Report posted one of my things. And I guess she's, like, super into sports, you know? Yeah, yeah. She, she has a betting stuff. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> you know a lot. <laughs> 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 well, she had a whole sports show on Complex for a second. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Oh, she true. Tapped in. Yeah, 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 she's yeah. super tapped in with the sports. So yeah, I guess that's why. But yeah, no, nah, that one was wild. Still, I was like, this isn't real. Like, I had like two hundred followers on, on Twitter. <laughs> Did you remember that? Did I show you that? Oh, see, I was in LA. I was like, what the hell is this? That's crazy. But yeah, should have beat. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't send her no message. I'm not even gonna lie. I asked her if she wants to be in a music video, and I, I was like. Like a, on a business thing, you know, like I'll mm. pay you. 
Um, yeah, and then she unfollowed me. So that's how that went. Okay, I have mine, right? But she's not from Toronto. She's from the States. Don't judge me. Uh-oh. I, I, I got to show you. Who is that? What's her name right here? She was on, like, Little People and stuff oh. like that. Whoa. <laughs> Tell me she's not bad. Saying that's you? Oh, Tell joking. me she's not bad, though. <laughs> no, no, I'm not even joking. Oh, these niggas think I'm joking. Look. Tell me she's not bad, though. I don't know, you know? Like, that's just... Not that I don't have a type. But tell me she's I'm not six, bad. Eight. Though, <laughs> Come on, B. Come on, she ain't bad. B don't lie. She's security oh still. She, yo, she. You can't go. But that's that, you still. That's you. That's so you wouldn't. Not me. You wouldn't do a little lie. person. No diss. You're, you're, you're freaking. T- <laughs> I'm big. Like it. The logistics aren't working. I tell you right now. It's just not gonna work out. It, it's not gonna work out. Still, I'm six eight. Like, oh, you went to school, fam. You can figure it out. Nah, nah, nah. UCLA is not that smart. You know, like, like I have a little bit of an education, but you know. <laughs> oh shoot! That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Uh, getting even more uncut, man. I wish we had a female here, but Friday, uh, we not Friday, but uh, the, the network we got another show that's called Zaylinks, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And another question that's been going on is Toronto guys like their stereotype with them not eating the box. <laughs> yeah, that's there. absolutely true with me. I yeah? do not. You do not eat the not, box. Not. Wow. None of that. <laughs> None of what? Yo, I'm like, a whole germaphobe. <laughs> I'll tell you right now I'm a whole see, but, but that's understandable then But for certain men It's like, like That's not actually understandable But yeah like, <laughs> How is that not understandable? You're a so, germaphobe Really? <laughs> you, if it's your girl though And your girl like That's still She's wifey You got a ring on it And she's just It like, would have to be wifey But no <laughs> I'm a germaphobe. Like I don't even like kissing girls like that. Like I'm a weirdo. Like I so, swear, so, Dirk so had a bar it, like that. So it's a Toronto man thing. Like we really have a problem with like being like is yeah. it sexual with girls or like prudy? Where it's just like we just we're selfish. We just want to thing them. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I don't like, know. In Scarborough, it's like that. Like you'll get clowned if you're just claiming that. You of know? course, but all them niggas is lying. Because all them niggas is eating yeah, no, no, nah, for sure. How about you? Great. Men's are in denial, dog. Men's are in denial. That's, that's all I'm saying. Everybody's out here. If you really know what you're doing, dog. Fam, these girls there's are an art their form box. to it. Are you stupid? A lot. Watch it. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm not in denial, fam. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Not everybody deserves it. Not everybody deserves it. But you know what I mean. If it's wifey, that's one thing. And there's an art form to it. Dog. Gotta learn some things. Man knows it what thing. if it's bare hair down there? <laughs> if it's wifey, is, is it wifey? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sometimes we run into some some complications, and it depends on the day. You know what I mean? What, what man said? It de- it really depends on the situation. Sometimes man them eat the kiwi without going peeling off the skin. Yeah, I'm wow. Saying? That's, like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying sometimes you got to do what you got to do when it's wifey. I'm saying that's you. Hell yeah, nigga, said. I'm old. Nigga, I don't got time for all that pining in 30 minutes and all that. You 6A, you can get away with that shit. I can't be getting away with, oh, no, I'm pining for like three, four hours. Nah, B. Let me do what I got to do. Deal with the box down there. Give me a couple of strokes. We're good to go. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. Ow. Yeah, this nigga said peel the fucking skin off the kiwi. <laughs> yeah, right, you ain't peeling the skin dying. off the kiwi for me. ain't got time for that, B. I can't. <laughs> I guess the wrong guys are proves, man. Sorry, girls. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> Let's wrap this shit up, man. Thank you, Kofi, for coming through. I appreciate, appreciate you for having you. me. You got a song you want to leave off with? Oh, hold on, hold on. We got to give um, people them uh, your mm-hmm. Instagram and all that stuff. So let the people know uh, how they can find you. Uh, yeah. You know, Spotify, YouTube, all that. Um, On Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, just Kofi, K-O-F-I. Mm, easy. Um, On Twitter and Instagram is JMG, Kofi. Okay, so check me, check out Kofi, uh, homie. You wanna you wanna get a little shout out? You, you got a thing? Yo, he a boxer. Oh yeah, he's a boxer. Yeah, the um, what's it called? Twenty nineteen, um, K one national champ. Cool provincial? No, sorry, national K one, uh, provincial Muay Thai. I think national Muay Thai as well, and then silver gloves, brown bronze gloves boxing. 
the golden child trainer the shout out pound for pound pickering uh jason man had her hands i don't know if you guys have ever heard of him mm -hmm. but that's one of the top kickboxers out of canada really took over the the whole amateur and pro circuit okay. but um he's he's in his 40s now but still still going hard training with the young kids so you know, kick off a nigga's head <laughs> yeah when, when i'm training when i'm training but I, i've kind of been out of it right now just working i'm a welder i got my own um welding company strive contracting and welding solutions okay, you know so i'm just doing that right now during quarantine and thing but i'll get back to the ring i got it that's the body say less say less i got it i got it, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> well the time's right you know but, yeah. yeah all right man Kofi in the building. Um, song you want to go out with? And it's your boy Gutsy Guts. Guts Gotti. Follow me on all social media platforms. Ah, all social media platforms. Gutsy Guts. Um, my my YouTube. Subscribe, please. Gutsy Guts. Get me up there. And um, Mr. Gutsy Guts on Twitch. The real Gutsy Guts on TikTok. And yeah, we love hip hop on Twitch. Go mm. go follow that, bro. We're gonna do something. Get it to a thousand follow our subscribers, followers, followers, followers. Whatever. If you want to subscribe, then bless. Thank you. But yeah, get it to a thousand followers. I'm gonna do something super huge. Just get it to a thousand. Let's I'm go. Say less. But yeah, what song are we going off to? Space Cadet, I guess. That's the one that's top of the charts right now. Let's Shout go. out Dovi. Sure, the other track. Yeah. Shade of time. <laughs>